Hello beautiful people, how are you doing? Welcome back. Um, well, again you can see that I did some changes here and there but I just changed the button color and that's not something to get worried about. Uh, I can do the same for the register screen but uh, no issue on today's video we're going to do something super mega hyper awesome we will finally create our user and perform our login we will create our user on the database and we'll log him in on the app so with that being said let's get busy uh, let me put this on full screen boom what else uh, first of all, let's make sure we open the sign up and here instead of register, I'll write sign up. Done. What else? Oh, we need to change this color to red just to match the concept of it. Okay, uh, it's looking good. What else? No. Let us do something else. Um, because I don't want to have a lot of red here. We can just take this link and turn it blue for the login. Done. Uh, something else you have to do is come over to the main screen or the main file and add this line theme we are defining some things for our app theme and then you write theme data primary color is going to be equal to red dot shade 900 so this is going to be the primary color of our app you have to come here and edit this perfect uh home page we're not going to use it now login page boom 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 oh for the login page Again, we're not going to use it now. Let us start working over here. And the first thing I may want to do is just right there before they may like guess it's fine. We can add this. Let's add a row. boom we have a row and uh, children okay just add a small comma here and I'm um, sorry if you can hear the background Roy is one of my neighbors is too excited today and he's making noise but okay that's not that's not our problem um, now what we want here come over here and uh, let's add string then here radio no group value and here let me put this as mail and you'll understand what I'm doing this in a second This height is not required, so we can just remove it. Uh, we can keep on going down and down and down and down here. We are going to add a new widget called radio. And for the value of this radio, we will put mail. And for the group value, we will write group value. And on change, on change, we'll write something here and value changed. And the value change is going to take our E. So what's happening? We are creating our first radio button here. 
so that the user can select his gender if we may but this method doesn't exist yet so we may just come here create a method and instead of the inside of this method we will create the switch or if okay if statement if e which is the value is equal to male um let's do something to make this even better remove this and uh, we can put the set state here is equal to m which is male group value is going to be equal to e and um, else if our e is equal to female our group value is going to be equal to e again here is male not nail or what's this done mm. So let's come back here to our radio button comma here and uh, let's try to do expand add a new widget expanded widget copy this come down here paste it and for the value of here, we're going to give female. Oops. Female. Um. What else? What else can we do here? Let us create some padding into this or oh, is that is that something required to do mm, I don't know uh, matter of fact let me add a list tile to our then we're going to add a title Mm, but the title is not going to be the radio button is going to be trailing is it like this oh I think I misspelled this okay now for the title we'll put text mm, and inside of the text we can write oops, we can write uh, something like male okay and uh, we will style this we're going to give this a text style at least for the color you can go colors dot white um and we still have the issue here but what I can do is for now I will oops 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 I will what's happening bro I will cut this and boom 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 okay Uh, let me organize this code better oh we have our title text that goes until here and what we want now is a trailing and for the trailing we're going to pass this 
okay again organize the code for now let me just delete this section down here and um, okay let me do something else here which is copying here and bring it over here um, so for the text something else we can do is for the text align let's go with text align center and see how things will be or oh, better yet we will go with text align dot end okay and I will copy this and I'll paste it here on our mail text align dot end mm, and here we will put female and the value is going to be female as well okay let us see what's happening on our app and this is what what's happening on the app and if I click on female it's going to select female if I click on male it's going to select male um, but this is not quite visible uh, so what we can do here is to I'm sorry for the background noise again okay uh, what we can do here is I can uh, wrap this row inside of a container widget and for the container widget we can just give a color then colors dot white dot with opacity 0 0.5 or something uh, and then after that is done we will we will want to have the padding here for our container and even for the text we can change the color no oh I will give it 0 0.5 and uh, let us add a padding here why am I giving me that lamp okay uh, so we will add padding and we will just copy the padding configuration for the other widgets and uh, oops I'm sorry for that and we will just paste that over here and if we go back to our app now we have something more or less like this so you can select male or female okay um, I think it's good enough there's not a lot I would like I would want to change anyways okay uh, with that part done let us actually create the user now 